what are seller concessions and here is why they are a win-win for both sides buyers and sellers question allowed especially now when we get to use this option more frequently because we are in a shifting market as opposed to last year right in a real estate transaction both the buyer and the seller are looking to maximize their bottom line right and this means navigating the highs and lows of the real estate market and strategizing ways to improve the terms of the deal on the table so one type of incentive that buyers and sellers can use is called seller concessions Seller concessions occur when a seller agrees to cover the cost of things that buyer usually pays for, like closing costs, title searches, property appraisals, and other fees. Sellers can also offer to pay for repairs should the home inspection reveal that they are necessary. It has actually happened to two of my transactions last week, and we will dive into it in more detail so you can see what it looks like in real life. The purpose of the seller concession is to sweeten the deal for a prospective buyer who is on the fence about committing to purchase, right? So how do seller concessions work? Well, seller concessions can be introduced at any point in the home buying process during the transaction. Although seller concessions typically surface during negotiations, they can also be advertised, yes, especially in today's market, directly on the listing before the property even goes under contract. So in many cases, seller concessions don't even involve an actual exchange of money. Instead, the amount that the seller will contribute to closing costs or other transaction expenses will be adjusted before closing date. Seller concessions are usually submitted in writing, either upfront in the purchase and sale agreement or as a negotiated addendum to the real estate contract mid-transaction but always prior to closing. So let's dive into an example from one of my own transactions from last week. During the inspection period, the inspection report showed that there are 30,000 worth of repairs needed. So my buyer requested concessions for those repairs, all right? In that case, the seller agreed to 15,000 in concessions out of those 30,000 needed in repairs. I know I negotiated hard for my clients and believe me, it was a lot for the sellers to go down on top of 50,000 I negotiated originally off of the listing price, but I'm digressing. So an addendum would then be executed saying seller agrees to credit 15,000 at closing to buyer. And upon closing, the balance statement will reflect that credit of 15,000 to the buyer. Okay. How can buyers and sellers use concessions to their advantage? High mortgage interest rates have deterred many would-be home buyers, and it's safe to say that we are no longer in a firm seller's market. In a real estate market like this, buyers have a real advantage. Home prices are high even as the market slows down dramatically, meaning that buyers who show interest but reluctance can be in a great position to demand concessions from the seller. And while seller concessions do tend to benefit buyers financially, they are also very good for sellers too. Sellers can use concessions to convince buyers to go ahead with a deal despite a high price, high interest environment. So I can tell you from experience that right now for a seller to move the home faster, I am seeing them and their agent offer concessions upfront. We are also seeing sellers doing more repairs and fixing things that they would not have had to fix during the buying frenzy of the last two years, right? So in the end, leveraging concessions gets everyone where they need to be. It's a win-win for both sides because the buyer pays less than they would have otherwise and the seller increases demand for the home and speeds up the sale process. Clearly, it's a win-win for both. Need an experienced realtor on your side when buying and selling in this market? Let's connect. You know my number. Here it is. Also, do not forget to follow, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.